Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm in far southwest Virginia in the Appalachian Mountains. And today's episode is about wasps and paper making. And the question I pose in the title of this episode is, did wasps really give rise to the multi-billion dollar paper making industry that we have today? Did wasps really give us that idea? In short, the answer is yes. So let me tell you this story in this episode. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. It's midsummer now here in the Appalachian Mountains, and I left for six weeks to explore and travel and make some new episodes in Switzerland and Italy and in Valencia, Spain. When I returned, I found these huge aerial yellow jacket nests. And I've done another episode telling the story on those guys. But today's episode is about paper making. And what stimulated this was as I did close-ups of these wasps, I watched them build the nests and add paper on. So these wasps go out and collect wood. They go out and scrape trees, fence posts, deck railings, anything they can find, chew it up and regurgitate it as a pulp mixed with their saliva and water. And the result is this long lasting paper. Many people find these nests in trees and take them down and use them as decorations around their house. It's a remarkable paper making. So here's the story behind it. The paper making began in China and the Chinese used fibers from both bamboo and mulberry plants to make their paper. In Egypt, paper was made from uh, fibers of papyrus. And over the years, people continued to look for ways to improve and make better paper. We're talking over 2000 years of looking for sources and methods and materials for paper. Silk was even used by the Chinese because it held color very well, but it was too expensive. In America, paper was actually made from old cotton and rags from the fibers of those natural products. In the 1700s in America, the demand for newspapers, magazines, gift wrapping grew, as well as the need to wrap black powder and musket balls. So during the Revolutionary War, the Continental Army was running short on paper for their ammo, and this would place our country at a huge deficit. So the Continental Army soldiers found 2,500 copies of Ben Franklin's sermon on a defensive war and put the paper from that to good use with their musket balls. Also around that time, the English passed a law banning burial in cotton cloth. So if you're gonna bury somebody, you have to bury them in wool because the cotton cloth was needed to make paper. In 1719, a French scientist wrote that, hey, we should look at the North American paper wasps. He said they make fine paper by chewing wood and spitting it out. So in the next 100 years or so, there was a lot of experimentation with wood fibers, but it was really hard to transfer away and move the industry away from using cotton and cloth to make paper. Finally, in the 1850s and late 1800s, wood pulp from paper was refined and the process was refined and they started making the bulk of the paper from wood fibers. Today, paper mills consume monstrous quantities of entire trees. Those trees are ground into a pulp processed with water and chemicals, and it uses a great deal of water, and they make rolls and rolls and rolls of the paper we use today. But in that process, they do use a lot of water, and they create a lot of pollution, but that's a story for another episode. So in the end, the paper wasps and observations of paper wasps in nature really did give rise to the paper industry and the idea of using 
wood fibers to make paper today. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.